Hi everyone, welcome back. This time on Twisty Roads, let's explore one of Hong Kong's largely uninhabited island known as Tunglung Chau. It is also commonly referred to as Tunglung Island as in Cantonese the term Chau means an island. In this video, we will share how to arrive at Nam Tong Pier from Sam Ka Chun, give you some background on the wooden planks you will notice floating near the pier, hike to Hong Kong's largest and most ancient rock carvings which are almost 300 years old and finally head on the other side of the island to the lighthouse, campsite and hike to Eagle's Tooth Rock before heading back. If you are coming from the Kavlun side, arrive at Yautong MTR and walk for about 10 minutes to Samkachun Ferry Pier. In this video, we will share the details from Samkachun Ferry Pier. But if you are coming from Hong Kong side, arrive at Saiwan Ho Ferry Pier and suggest you read our blog and follow the link to Google Maps shared in the blog. Samkachun is close to Liumun fishing village. The ferries only operates on the weekends and public holidays. Also, the tickets get sold out very soon. So, we suggest you arrive at least 20 minutes before the ferry departure. about 30 minutes to arrive at Nam Tong Pier from Sam Ka Chun. As you get closer to the pier, you will also see a few wooden planks floating in the water. These are fishing rafts used for fish farming near the island. There were also two circular deep sea cages for fish farming, allowing fishes more area and it has more capacity than a fishing raft. If you are here just for a day trip like us, you have a clock ticking as there is lot to cover given in the limited amount of time you spend on this island. We started to explore this island with ancient rock carvings first which is on the right side from here and in the opposite direction of the campsite. They have signboards placed everywhere which is good so you can just follow the signs leading to ancient rock carvings.
surprised to see a lot of visitors here despite being accessible only by a long steep set of stairs. Going down to the rock carvings is much easier but remember you have to climb all these steps on your way back so choose what's best for you. to do the entire loop hike around the island continue on this path as we were short on time we dropped the idea of the loop hike but still continued on this path until we arrived at an intersection and headed towards loop king one to see some more beautiful rock formations After exploring this part of the island, now we are heading back in the direction of Nam Tong Pier and we will explore the remaining half of this island. Now let's explore another side of this island towards the campsite and also the Eagle Tooth Rock. Thank you. 
This island is very popular for camping. So, if you plan to camp overnight, remember to carry your own equipment, food and water as there are no rentals available and restaurants are closed after the last ferry leaves the island in the evening. has a lot to offer than one can imagine. Now heading to our last stop which is this eagle tooth rock from where you can get a bird's eye view of this island and on a clear day you can also see Hong Kong skyline at a distance. We hope you enjoyed watching this video and found it useful. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more such adventures. You can also share this with your friends and family and if you have any questions let us know in the comments below. See you in our next video till then bye.